All right, we have a probability question here, and it's a Hardy Weinberg question too. We're going to use a visual model to answer this, but first we need to correct an error. So we're considering only those that are homozygous for the A allele, and it's ABO blood type. So only those that are homozygous for the A allele. And it says there are actually two different A alleles, A1 and A2. Well, if there are two different, then those allele frequencies must make up 100% of all the A alleles, and these don't. We have three quarters and one sixth. Those don't add up to one. So I'm going to fix this. I'm going to say this is one quarter. And I didn't just invent that. You included the source for these data. I looked it up, and it is three quarters and one quarter. So get that out of the way first. Correct that error. Now we're going to use a probability square. All right, let's not fill that. And this looks kind of like a Punnett square. It's not a Punnett square, though. I'm going to start by making a Punnett square, and then we'll fix it so that it represents our population. So on a Punnett square, you would put the alleles up here. So let's say A1. and A2, and in a Punnett square, we're just modeling a single family where in this case, dad is heterozygous and mom is heterozygous, and we're predicting the genotypes of the offspring, and it's going to be either 50% or 25% or 75%. Uh, it's going to be a, a factor of 1 over 4. That's not what we have here. Here we have a Hardy-Weinberg problem, and we don't have 50-50. Instead, we have a population where one quarter of all the alleles are A2, and one quarter of all the alleles are A1. Now, we're going to use the same idea, where this whole box, this represents the genotypes of all of the, the entire population. Now, everybody in the population had a mom and a dad, and... They got either an A1 or an A2 from dad and either an A1 or an A2 from mom. Everybody did. Now, what's the probability of getting an A1 from dad? Well, since 75% of all the alleles are A1, there's a 75% chance of getting that allele. Now, we're going to say this A1, we're going to say P equals three quarters. All right, so I'm using the language of Hardy-Weinberg here, P and Q. And then this, Q equals one quarter. And then the same here. It's P equals three quarters. And Q equals one quarter. All right, now this whole box, this represents the population. This square right here. This is going to be our A1, A1. That is, these are the individuals, everybody in the population. They got an A1 from dad and an A1 from mom. Now, in the Punnett square, it would just be 0. 0.5 times 0. 0.5, but it's not. that's not what it is here. We have P squared equals 3 quarters, it's the length of this line, times 3 quarters. Squared equals 9 sixteenths. And I want to tie this in with Hardy-Weinberg. Remember the, the second Hardy-Weinberg equation looks like this. All right, so this one, this represents the entire population. And our entire population here are the individuals that are homozygous for the A allele. And that's the whole box. So this P squared box, this term right here, these are the homozygous A1. So that's this box. How about, let's do Q squared. Well, Q squared, this is A2, A2. This tiny box here. Let's see if we can fit this all in. All right, so this is Q squared equals 1 quarter squared. I'll say here, equals 1 16th. All right, so 9 sixteenths are P squared, homozygous A1. 1 16th are homozygous A2. Now, 2PQ, 
Well, we have nine sixteenths and one sixteenth, so that's six sixteenths are left here. So that's what it is. Um, but let's also calculate it by doing 2PQ and see where that 2PQ comes from. Well, why And why is it 2? All right, so first, there's two different ways of being heterozygous. You can get an A2 from your dad and an A1 from mom, or an A1 from dad and an A2 from mom. That's why it's 2PQ. So this rectangle here is Q times P. All right, so let's say Q P, and that is one quarter times three quarters equals three sixteenths, and this is PQ. So that's three quarters times one quarter equals three sixteenths, and now we have three sixteenths times plus three sixteenths six sixteenths or three eighths and uh, that is our genotype frequency for the heterozygotes so that's uh, these two skinny rectangles are the heterozygotes and now we can check that um, these should these three should add up to one so nine plus one is ten sixteenths plus three plus three is sixteen sixteenths so those are our uh, genotype frequencies uh, for a1 a1 that's the top one a1 a1 a1, A2, heterozygote, 2PQ, and A2, A2 is um, 116.